Okay, so here is how you bring a picture into the yearbook program. So um, you go to my HJ yearbook and you go ahead and sign in. Once it comes up, you choose 2021, go to Design, Launch Citrix. As I told most of you, Citrix is a program, basically you're logging on to somebody's computer that has Flash on it. So it's a um, window within a window, if you would like to say it that way. Okay, so once you get here, you use your username, whatever your username is for your book, at users.hjedesign.com. So it's hj for herf jones edesign.com. And go ahead and click next. You put in the password, which is table with a capital T, A, B, L, E, 21333. And then you can say yes or no. I don't think it works, but you're going to go with it. Once you get here, you're going to start with Okay, so it should look like this. If it doesn't, if you click on apps and go to all apps, it should come up like this. Okay, so to add a picture, you go here to launch image uploader. And you're going to come here and you're going to choose 2021. And then it says upload from my device. So it, I'm gonna assume that you have not downloaded anything so if you go and you put in um let's see e-learning see if i can find any pictures for the page that i was working on so here are some e-learning pictures um you take the picture and you have to download it so you have to save image as and then I'm just going to put it on the desktop for right now so that you can see what it looks like. So now up here, you can go to the other tab. You're going to upload from my device. And you make sure you're on your desktop and then click on e-learning. And then it says that it is already up there You can hit OK. So now if I go back to up here on this tab, I go to the Citrix workspace. And if I go to Herf Jones eDesign, this is where you will actually um, create the book. So you have to log in again. Because like I said, you are actually logging into somebody's computer right now. They have a server that you go and um, log into. So that's why you have to log in twice. So you go ahead and put that in. Go to 2021, hit OK. So we're going to go to the book. And then I'm going to go down here to the page that I was working on. I'm going to edit. I'm going to do both of them. Okay, remember over here you have your icons. So if you click on it, the top one is images. If I go all the way down to the bottom, 
Remember, it, there are two scroll bars on this side, so I can scroll this way and it's going to scroll the whole window, or this one is actually within the program. So if you are scrolling the wrong one, that's why there's two, there should be two on, on this side pretty much all the time. So now if I take this and I click and I drag it, I can just put it in there or I could put it into a photo box if that's what I wanted to do. If I click on it, I should be able to make it smaller. I wanted to click on this and make the whole thing smaller. I, oops, can't do that. If I hit Control Z, it goes back to where it was. Okay, so now I wanted to show you something since you're there. So now it will make it bigger or smaller. If I wanted to just um, make the picture smaller and not the box, if I double click, see how now I have these circles. Once I have these circles, I can make it bigger or smaller, whatever I want it to do. And I can move it around and I can do what I want to do with it. And then if I click off of it, then it will be there like that. I want to go back so I can see it all the easiest way in this program is to go over here to the percentage and then put whatever percentage. I think 75% is when you can see both of them. Nope, must be 50. Okay, so now you can see both of them at the same time. So that is how you bring pictures that you save off the internet to do that. The only thing I'm going to caution you about is copyrighted stuff. The yearbook company will not print copyrighted stuff, so you can't put a Disney logo or something in there. So, if you have any questions, let me know, and if not, I hope to see you soon.